Connor Barron. Welcome back to Big Stevie Cool 1872. And he is the latest player to be linked with Rangers. To be fair, he's always kind of been linked with Rangers, I'd say, over the past year. And I'll be honest, I'll be brutally honest, I just don't think this guy is good enough for Rangers. And this isn't me saying, oh, we can't sign another Scottish youngster. No, I, I just don't think this guy is anywhere near the levels of like other players that we have let slip through our uh, grasps. And also, you know, players that other teams have let slip through. Like, you look at Ferguson, million times better than this guy. No offence. Um, even someone like McKenna, you know, Shankland right now, John McGinn, I know McGinn realistically probably wouldn't have came to us, right? But I just think this guy is a few massive steps behind them. That's just me being truthful at the end of the day. Um, he will be 22 uh, in August. Uh, he is a five foot nine midfielder who's very injury prone. You know, he spent a couple of seasons out on loan at Brecon City. And uh, Kelly Hearts last season was his, you know, his best appearances wise in the Scottish Premiership with twenty nine. Got one goal. He scored four goals in his entire career. That's not really what he's known for, though. So I just don't rate this guy. I don't. I actually don't. I actually don't rate him. To be honest, I, I I'm not saying that it would be a horrendous signing, but I think there's a lot better players to be signing, man. I do. I mean, to actually think about a couple of years ago that we were linked with Simon Joey Fearman. Yeah, and he turned us down, he went to PSV, right? But look look what he's went on to do. Do I see the, the same career trajectory here? No, I don't. I just, I just think with Connor Barron, it, it feels like one of those signings that's simply done just to like almost spite Aberdeen fans. And I know the board don't think that way, but... Well, hopefully not. I mean, it's very small-minded. Like, we need to do a wee bit better than that. But, you know, we've been linked with all these youngsters from other leagues and all that good stuff. And, again, we can go from our league. I just don't think this guy, you know, he's injury-prone. We kind of want to avoid those sort of players. I'm not saying that Conor Barron would be an awful signing, right? But I think of all the players that we've been linked with, even the unknown ones, it kind of... Doesn't interest it doesn't interest me and I'd probably rate the sign of it like what five out of ten. Cause I look at our midfielders, man, and I'm thinking, hmm. You know, he's twenty he's twenty one, becoming twenty two, there's a lot of room to improve there. I I get that element, but you know, if we're going to sign Scottish talent from the, the our league, then go and get Shanklin, man. What are we waiting on signing Conan Barron or whatever? I mean apparently he's cut short his holiday. So he can do a medical. Well, I mean, if he's done that, that sounds serious. That sounds really serious. So, again, this one doesn't really excite me. I think we should go and sign other players, man. You know, McKenna, Shankland, players that are actually like in the national team set up because they're actually good. Well, as for this guy, I'm no buying it. <laughs> anyway, season fit to one side. I, I mean, I wouldn't be completely against it, but I think of players in our own league and players that we've let go... I just it doesn't it doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't. Uh, I'll be I'll be honest. Like what what does Clement see in Connor Barron right that warrants the interest over like a Shankland? Shankland is going to bring us like thirty goals, more than thirty goals a season. This guy here, I think, could make a a decent addition to our midfield position, as those rhymes were quite sick, right? But I I, I genuinely think for the most part. We could sign Connor Barron, and in a year, two years' time, I'm going to be sitting here saying, this guy's Scott Wright, but in the centre of the field. That's what I think is going to happen. I don't want that to happen. But here, I think Stevie's fairly wrong. Apart from when he does his pre-season predictions and always picks Rangers to win the league. I mean, that's where I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, you know, Rangers, keep signing players, and I'll be forced to put you in the numero uno yet again. But there's a long time to go before I get the pen and paper out. But anyway, guys... Leave your thoughts down below. Um, and until next time, as my nose is absolutely running. Peace.